So if you mix up our cube, the first step is to solve the white side or the white face. So to do this, you sort of just have to fidget and get it done. Now, I'll show you a screenshot on the, in the next couple of seconds where if you get three like this on a face, I'll help you solve, I'll help you get the white from here to here, here to here, here to here, or here to here. All you have to do when holding it is hold it in this direction. So the, the steps in the following picture, just pause it, I'll show it for five seconds, will help you get the cube in the right area. So for this one, you can just do this. And that will solve all your white faces. This was just a fluke because it actually solved the sides too, but I'll show you how to solve the sides in the next part. Now to solve the actual sides of the white face, there are a few steps you have to do. So let me just get this back in order. Here we go. So now, as you can see, this blue side solved. This is jumbled, this is jumbled, this is jumbled. Now, all you have to do is on a, on a wrong corner. So when I say wrong corner, I mean these two are fine because they're, that's a solid side, as you can see. So this one is a wrong corner. All you have to do, twist it down like this twist it across and then twist it back up. So now you can see we've put the white on the side and, we, and we've got a hole here. All we do is rotate the top until there's a red here to the diagonal of the white. So if we rotate again, we can see there's a diagonal red, white. We twist it down, back across, so the white replaces the old white and then back up. Now you can see the red is in the right spot is put a white on the side here, and we've got two correct sides. Now we do the exact same thing, but on the opposite corner. So we want an orange on this side. So we twist, there's not an orange there, so we keep going. We twist again. As you can see, there's an orange here. We've got a diagonal on the side with the white. Now we twist the white down, or the white on this side down. So we twist like so, twist across, and now back up. So now we've got all the sides done, this side is all, all partially done and we're ready to move on the next step. Now some of you may have actually been stuck in a cycle with this step because it keeps replacing the diagonal that you need to uh, fix and I'll show you how to fix that right now. So here's a situation where some of you might actually be stuck. So for example, if you rotate the top, we've got the blue on the side, we want a blue here. So we rotate, we've got the blue, so white, blue, blue, white. Now we rotate this side down, rotate it across, back up. Now we've got this, so we've sold this side, we've got the green on the bottom. And we have to rotate to get a green diagonal here. We rotate. Now as you can see, if we do this, if we do the rotation, we've just replaced the blue that we've put in the top in that move earlier. So if I go back again, we've got the blue diagonal, but we just put that green there as you can see. So we just keep flipping over between our green and our blue. Now to solve this, all you have to do is just replace any corner, basically just replace the next corner with the white. So go to, a, go to the empty corner and do the diagonal there, as shown, as we've normally been doing. And that will solve the red. And now we've got the natural green here, diagonal, diagonal normal move and it should solve all your sides as you can see so if you get stuck just do do a corner change on one of the broken corners and it should fix it now the next step is to solve the order of the corners on the top of the cube so I'm going to use a term called half solved corners now a half solved corner is when a corner is in the right corner but it's in the wrong order. So here you can see we've got an orange side, a green side, and this is, will be a yellow side. So this corner is in the correct spot because it's got an orange, a yellow, and a green face. If we rotated it, it would be perfectly fit in here, 
that's a half solved corner. Now if you look at your cube like this and you've got a half solved corner here and it doesn't have a half solved neighbor you can see this is incorrect and this is incorrect if we just rotate so this is this half solved corner does these neighbors aren't aren't solved half solved if we rotate the cube in our hands like this rotate until we find the half solved for this and this one and this one aren't half solved then there aren't two neighbors that we need some of you might may actually get the two neighbors that we need so if you do for example if this is half solved and this is half solved put them at the back and just wait while I, while I help solve this state but if you don't I'll show you how to do it so first just go to leave the half solved corner on its face and it, the opposite should be true as well so the opposite those two are half solved now go to a broken one an unsolved half and do the following algorithm I'll go slow Now this algorithm would have actually put two neighboring half solved corners somewhere on the cube. All we have to do is look for them. So let's just rotate and find it. So as we can see, these two are actually fully solved, but they should be half solved. So some of you may actually be in this state now where we put the two half solved at the back like so. And all we do is apply the algorithm to the cube once more. Now, if you rotate the top, all the corners should be in the solved position. So, as you can see, that's solved, that's solved, that's solved, and that is solved. And now this cube is ready to go on to the next step. Now the final step is actually the easiest of them all. At this point we've got all the corners in the right spots, so that we've got, still got the white on the bottom. This half solved corner is in the right spot, this half solved corner is in the right spot, this one's fully solved, and this one is also in the right spot. Now all you have to do is just go to your first unsolved half un fully solved half corner and do the following algorithm. It should be right inverse down inverse right down now it looks like you've stuffed the cube up but all you have to do is keep repeating that algorithm until the white goes on the top so right inverse down inverse right down now that the yellow is on the top rotate the cube until you have the next unsolved unfully solved corner on the top and re repeat the algorithm again right inverse down inverse right down it's not solved, so we go again. Right inverse, down inverse, right down. Now it's solved, so we shift to the other unsolved top corner, and we do it again. Right inverse, down inverse, right down. Again, right inverse, down inverse, right. And now we can see we solved our cube. So that last algorithm you just keep repeating and rotating the top until you solve all the yellows and then you complete your Rubik's Cube. I just decided that we might as well just put all our knowledge together and solve the cube. So let's solve, I'll just jumble it up a little bit. Let's solve, first step, solve the white face. So doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, I put some steps earlier in the video to help you solve it with three here. So you can follow the steps by holding it this way and getting that white on that screenshot. I'll put it up briefly now so you can see. Um, I don't really need it. I can just do it like that. So we've got the orange face solved. All white's done. Uh, let's pick this broken one. So now we've got the white here. We need the red on this diagonal. We've got the red, but it's gonna keep flipping over. Watch this. So now we've got the orange, 
but we just replaced that red. So we'll replace this orange now. And now we've got the orange on the diagonal. Um, so we just put that down, through, up. Now we've solved the whole top. Flip it over. Let's see how many neighbors we got. Okay, so that's, that's a half solved corner. That's a half solved corner. So we've got two straight away. Put them at the back, do the algorithm. Now this algorithm will solve all the half corners. So if you have a look, solved, as you can see that's solved, 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 solved. Now we just have to solve the yellows. This might take, this might be a pain because we just have to go through the motions. Keep repeating the algorithm and then you flip the top once you get through. Ah. Last one. Solved. Now I just decided to do a couple of examples just to reinforce um, how to do them. So we can first step is to solve the white face. Now, here's, remember we always come back to the sort of, everyone can solve three. Getting the fourth one up here might be a bit tricky, so I've included that screenshot that you guys can use as a cheat sheet. I'm just gonna, um, how do we do this? Like that. So now, all the, so we've got the red side is fine. Let's get this white out. So now we have to look for an orange diagonal. But as you see, if we put the orange here, it will flip out the reds, which is a solved side. So we can just replace this white and that actually solves the blue as well. So now we've got the diagonal there. Beautiful. We've solved all the whites or the whole white side. Flip it over. Have to look for our half solved corners. So that one's half solved. That one's also half solved. That one's not, that one's not. So now we put these two at the back and do our algorithm. Now this algorithm should have solved all our half corners if we just rotate them around. So that one's solved, you can see. That one's solved, that one's solved, that one's solved. And now we just do our algorithm. Our final algorithm too, which is just really repetitive, but it gets the job done. Oop. Done. Thanks for watching.